this wraps up our our uh, off season phase of our, our our preparation and I'm just very happy, very pleased. I, I grade it very highly what the guys have done. We've had uh, tremendous participation and the participation has been 100% effort. You know, whether it's guys like Joe rehabbing or guys who are out here practicing or in the weight room or wherever it's been in the meeting rooms, it's been really good. So really happy with those guys. And this next part of it, uh, you know, you won't hear much about it, but this next part of it will be, will be very important as well. I mean, we're going to be going into a phase now, what, about four weeks, where individually guys have to prepare themselves. I mean, you know, they're, as an athlete, uh, preparing for the season is an individual thing now for the next four weeks. And they're going to have to get themselves ready physically, uh, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, all those ways for what's ahead of them. Uh, training camp and then on into a long NFL football season. So that's what we left those guys with. And knowing our guys, they'll make the most of it. We've got a lot of answers, and uh, but maybe more questions, you know, in the end, because this is just part of it. This is not, you know, the physical part of it's not in these practices, but we saw speed. We saw how guys process information. I think we found that we've got a lot of smart young players that can learn really quickly, and that's a good thing to know. And uh, take the next step in the training camp and see how they do with the next thing. In all seriousness, that's it's really up to the doctors and to him and the rehab people. So uh, if he's ready to go, you know, nobody will be happier than, than me, maybe besides Joe, you know, and, and the receivers, you know. But uh, if he's ready to go, great. If he's not, then we'll, there'll be some sort of, a, you know, process for that well you know that's uh, again it's in the hands of the rehab people and and, and Terrell um, he looks good he's working hard you know he's been here for quite a few weeks now uh, rehabbing and conditioning and all those things and uh, to my eye he's doing a really good job he's working really hard he's here he's here consistently on a regular basis uh, he's been interacting with the guys in the meetings this week uh, done a good job with that so you know the uh, the Achilles was early it was early September last year so from a time frame standpoint he's got a real chance to be to be ready to go. And uh, when we decide to practice him or how much or and all that kind of thing, I think will depend on you know what's in really his and our best interest as far as having him at his best when we start playing games. So just have to play that out once training camp starts. So you meant he has a real chance to be ready to go from the start of the season. You weren't talking about training. Well, I think both. You know, I mean, it just, but it just depends. I, I, you can't guarantee anything, but uh, I think see what the doctors say, but he's looking good. And, you know, I don't know how much we'll play him, either one of those guys, or Elvis in the preseason. We'll just have to see. It'll just be based on what they need to do to get ready. Um, but Steve's, Steve's Achilles was much later than Terrell's, so it's a little bit of a different time frame there. Well, Ronnie's a rookie, and uh, I think he's on schedule uh, in that sense as far as his development goes. He's, uh, he's a six pick in the draft. He's very talented. All the things that everybody knows that's, that follows football, his attributes are all there. Uh, boy, he doesn't say much. He goes to work. He gets better every day. Doesn't repeat mistakes. Those are the things that we learn, you know, in the last uh, few weeks. So um, it's going to be up to him to earn the job, win the job, and be ready to go. Harry Swain's program has been in effect now from day one when they got here, right on through every day. They have these uh, seminars and symposiums. They're still here next week. The rookies aren't leaving. They'll be here next week for uh, for the rookie symposium, which goes Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So they'll be working out. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with the symposium, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the rookie symposium. That's the type of stuff they'll be talking about with those guys before they leave. These are tough things. I mean, these are the these are the difficult situations in in our league. You know, I mean, we all. I have the utmost respect for Eugene Monroe, uh, family man. Nobody works harder. You know, as a football player and as a person, just a wonderful guy. And uh, you know, you build relationships with these guys over the years. I see them every day in here. In the off season, early morning workouts, we were in there. We're both in there working out, not together. You know, he does a little more weight than me, but uh, you know. Then all of a sudden, you know, you hear it, you're part of it, and boom, it's 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 the next day. A guy's not here, and he's he's moving on to the next thing, and that's that's the difficult thing about it. That's that's what's always tough. But and then the other tough part about it is 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 the speculation that that people want to throw in there, just just making statements that really have no basis in fact or reality whatsoever. And, but they will. People will believe what they want to believe. So, you know, you just got to move past that and, and uh, know things are done for the right reasons and, and, uh, and, and keep the relationships intact. And, and with Eugene, they're, they're firmly intact. He's got a lot of friends here. He's well thought of here. And uh, it'll always be appreciated what he, what he did while he was here. Football circumstances changed from the end of the season until now. Football circumstances, 100% football circumstances. That's it. That's all it ever was. And everybody here, that's well documented, you know, the, the circumstances and situation. It's no reflection on, on Eugene Monroe in any way. 
It just has to do with the circumstances with the Ravens in that position. And uh, he's going to play. I mean, he's going to get picked up. He's going to play. He's going to play very well because he's an excellent football player. So uh, all the rest of it, you know, is uh, – I mean, I'll just leave one last thing because I think it's, it's, a, it's a compliment to our organization, to Steve Bishotti, uh, and to the organization historically when you look all the way back on this organization. This organization has always been very, very forward-thinking, very open, very in front of all kind of issues. And uh, I've always allowed their players to speak out, speak their mind and be who they are. I mean, you can go all the way back to Art Modell and Jim Brown. Take it all the way back that far. Then bring it on to Steve Bishotti with, uh, with Ray Lewis and Jonathan Ogden and Ed Reed and these guys who have been very outspoken. You know, since I've been here, you can look at uh, the Matt Burke and Brendan Iambadagio stuff, you know. So we've got a really good track record for all that, and I'm, I'm proud of that, and I know our organization is, and I think it speaks well for who Steve Bishotti is. And we always allow people to be who they are, believe what they believe, and uh, stand up for what they believe in. And uh, that, that doesn't have anything to do with any football decisions that are ever made. Terrence has done a great job. I tell you, he's, uh, he's, I would say he's in the best shape of his life. I think he would tell you that. And uh, he looks good. He looks quick. He looks fast. Young guys, young running backs, the thing that they always have to learn. They usually know how to run the ball, and he's proven he can do that. The, the next part of it is the pass protection and, uh, and, and uh, the alignments and assignments and lining up outside the box and those kind of things. But I think he's really done a good job with uh, improving on this spring and can't wait to see him in training camp. You know, the ability to play guys in different spots, make it difficult for offenses to identify, you know, as far as uh, their structure and who they're supposed to block, who's playing what coverage. Those are all really important things. And having the ability, having the players that can do that, that can play multiple positions goes right in hand in hand with that. And having guys that can run and are athletic is really important. So, you know, we've tried to do that. I think it's been something that uh, a lot of you guys have written about over the years. And, and uh, you know, we, ex we have high expectations for our defense this year. We really do. And uh, I really like the players out there running around, young guys and veteran guys. So we'll see how it gels in training camp and in the preseason.